How long have I been muted? I gotta check this out now. God dang it. Right, seeing as I wasn't muted for the most of this episode so far, I think we're just gonna cut off... Uh, we're gonna edit just together the um, the puzzle rooms, because those are the important bits. And then we will uh, carry on from here. Okay, folks, here we have puzzle room number five. Um, this actually only is the last attempt at puzzle room number five, because this took me about five minutes, so this is just the successful attempt at it. As you can see, the yellow block needs to go at the bottom, the purple block on top of that, and the green block on top. And the yellow block, therefore, needs to go around using this massive blue force field. However, if you do that normally, um, the green block will kill you, because if you push the yellow... If you destroy the block below the green to get the yellow across, the green will fall down and crush you, or it will block progress. So I know for a fact I've got to you put the green somewhere. And then my trouble was, okay, so where am I putting the yellow? While the green's moving, I need to put the yellow somewhere. So, um, all I'm, to, I'm basically saying, where can I, I can't put the yellow. I can't put the yellow where I'm standing, like, right now, or where I was before. I was just discussing where I cannot put the yellows. Because um, if you put the yellows in certain places, you get trapped and you can't move on. And round about here, I have an epiphany of, like, okay, maybe I don't have to put the, the yellow all the way around. I don't need to put the yellow all the way around. I can, in fact, use, use only the, um, the first tier, because if I put that there, and then do that, I get trapped on this side of the yellow, because the problem was I was always trapped on the other side. And the, the fact that the, um, the force field goes all the way up is a trap. It's not supposed to go all the way up. You're not supposed to use it all the way up. You're supposed to use it only this far. Um, and yeah, and that sort of solves that problem. It took me about five minutes. I had quite an epiphanous, joyful moment. I'm not entirely sure what the other blue force field is doing. I think it said that you can't pull purple back, but there's no... There's no point. I mean, there's no challenge to that. You can just drop it and put it into place. You can just go, yep, drop it into place and pull it into location, go over the top. Yeah, that that, that entire section there, I'm not sure what the point of that was. Um, and loop there and done. Fairly simple, but it took me about five minutes and I was very happy when it got done. I like a, a challenging puzzle room. It's always interesting. And then we have uh, puzzle room number four. Let's see if we did it in the wrong order, which was the second puzzle room here. Which compared to puzzle room number five, this was a, this was a walk in the park. There was only one way to do this. I mean, it looks complicated at first, but then you kind of just follow around the the the, um, the force fields, and there is only one way to do this. And it doesn't even punish you, I don't think. It just it does it completely naturally. I don't think there's any way. I don't think there's a way to get this wrong. Or if there is, I even I couldn't think about one because you, you shove it up there. Block goes up there. You can't if you shove it left, nothing's gonna happen. Nothing shoves happens. You gotta shove it right. At which point it goes up. At which point you have to go around there. And you can only push it from one direction, you push it there. Pull it back, it goes up. Now if you push it from um, if you push it from the wrong side, like because I've, I've got to go up here and push it right. If I pushed it left, which is possible, it would only fall down and go and loop around, so it, it, it makes a difference. Then go over there and that's done. Simple. Easy. My god. Okay, fine. This punishment, I'll give you basically a, a slightly longer episode with essentially with the highlights of the of the, um, the, the puzzle rooms. And just going on from now. I can't believe I was muted. I swear to god I wasn't muted. I started not muted. I must have pressed the... There are no excuses. There are no excuses. There are only reasons, but there are never excuses. And the reasons aren't even a good one, so... Right, anyway. I've essentially, now I've pretty much gotten all the stuff I need to get here for Ransom. I got the last Gassium, because I needed four more Gassium. To grab... So that I have everything that I need from this planet is now has now been grabbed. Um, I managed to... Okay, hang on. Because I'm not going to add a lot, all that in, so hang on, if I quickly go into the map... Okay, I can't do it here. Basically, um... I started off... Hang on, where... I started off going to 1, clearing out 4, realized I could go left, going into 11. 11 took me to there. Cleared out 11. 3 took me to here, and that basically opened the rest of the map up. That's the, that's the path I took. Just so that we're all on the same page. Uh, I'm just gonna do the glob spitter now, and 
I left on the right hand side of the map uh, an invincibility madness. So I'm just kind of curious what happens if you try to fight the something with an invincibility madness on. I'm assuming he can still eat you as a whole. But if you manage to dodge the initial bite, can you just destroy the rest of its body? By just standing in it? I don't think I, I don't think so, but I still want to find out. I wouldn't expect that you could. Okay. There's still a lot of stuff to clear over here though. There's an entire like, entire section of the map I didn't even touch. Get some more madness. Oh god. Well, there you go, it's making me consumed immediately. Yep, something in my alien indeed. So, when I get back here, so everything's been consumed. We got the Tauntaun, we got all the Endom we needed. Um, the only thing I need now is, because that I can't get anything from this, I can't get anything from that. I managed to get the, the jetpack fuel. Don't need anything there, don't need anything there, don't need anything there. That requires the four more gasium I need. So if I get these four more gasium, there is nothing left on this planet I require. Because I don't think um, you require anything from this planet, do you? No. Fermium I've got, Kitika I've got, Recavium, there's one more I need to, but you get, you can be mined and aura. And um, Restium and, and Pale are an aura as well, so. All I need to do is teleport down to this area, grab that, uh, and essentially finish that uh, finish that room, and essentially we're done. We're done with this entire planet. Um, I don't know if there's an extra like incentive to, to mine everything. Is there an incentive to mine anything? We don't know. Uh, right, let's go over here. Go around this way. Grab you. Okay, is anything up here for me to grab? Nay. Some Agium over here. Some Inkium. Some Pintum. Statue. Batium. Like, we're strip mining planets now. The best way to know there's nothing left is just to leave no. Mi now there's a, a difference between mineable and unminable. Just make sure there's not a single, there's no single mineable block left over. I also grabbed the um, the relic from this planet as well. The relic was over there by the eleven. The risk about whatever whatever dropped the relic off just died to toxins and was like, I'm gonna join my lover in the other world now, or well, my darling is waiting for me or something like that. Um, I'll put in I'll put in like a, a post commentated. I'll do a post commentary on my relic room, possibly. My relic room adventures. Okay, it's down. More than enough gasium now. Okay, down here. What is this way then? This just links with somewhere else. Is it link or is it just an entirely, oh, an entirely enclosed area? Okay, that's fine. Gotcha. Close. More Kadika. More Cristilla. Um. Okay. Come on, really? Thank you. Right, I need to pull you this way. 
Oh, go away. You're getting more. Are you getting more rowdy? Because you know, I'm getting. Because I'm getting close. Is that's what's happening here? Right. This is gonna be. Oh, this is gonna be problematic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Okay. Now, what am I gonna do here? Have I lost? Have I trapped myself away from these things? Have I actually gotten into a situation where I can't actually grab everything? Because if I push here, I'm immediately dead. Although, if I push here, where does my corpse go? Because my corpse, surely, yeah, look around for the area. It's crushed to death, look around. They can't destroy what I had, so that would break the game. So, let's we'll go in there. A tactical death, that was. For speedrunning purposes. Uh, nothing over here, nothing over there. Bomb. Okay, and there we go. Now, unintentional, they're not supposed to go that high. There we go. Grab you, grab you. Hopefully, oh, I'm gonna go into number seven anyway. Uh, am I? No, I'm gonna clear out first because I know for a fact if I actually no, I can no, because once I get the last token, once I get the last token, the fight will immediately start when I teleport back out again. And I don't necessarily want to do that and have to pick up stuff, so let's quickly drop this stuff off, real quick. I'm still sort of wondering where I'm going to fight the boss. Part of me is going to do this one-off check, one-off check that. Um, yeah, the one-off check uh, that we've got. Um, yeah, the gas seems good. With the teleporter, with the because uh, that block over there is the invincibility madness. That's cleared out. Okay, with that, really, there's. Huh? Okay. We've explored everything, other than that little bit in the little seven, everything's actually been visually explored. That is closed off. I guess that's like I could I could go up here and yeah, might as well. For completion's sake, go up and clear and just open up that passageway. So something I said that you didn't hear because it wasn't recorded, was I think the entire map's been about unlocking entire areas, basically. Um, has been basically you teleport into a closed area and then you open the doors that, that take it board to link it to the common area. Most of it, not all of it obviously, but most of it you just go into a common, you go to a closed off area and then open it up to everywhere else. Right. Onwards to the puzzle room you go. So after the, after my inevitable failure of using the um, of the um, invincibility madness, I'm gonna basically have to find a place to actually fight this thing properly. Anyway, um, green over there. Is that blue over there? Oh. You've got that, so that needs to, that block goes there. That block goes there, that block goes there, that block goes there. And I'm assuming there's not a reason. Okay. I can't push it in anyway. So, that's probably the doorbell. One second. Right, okay, so, sorry about that, that was the doorbell. Um, that goes down there. Then I drop this immediately on top of it. I can't do that because there's a block there. So that needs to drop before that does. This has to drop before this does. Hang on. Let's explore that side of the room. I don't see that side of the room very well. So let's go around all the top. Things can't fall upwards, so we'll go all the way around the top. Because I can, I can drop this block down here. Okay, yeah. 
So I can drop that block down there. There. That there, that there. Because if I drop this block here... Okay, so I can't drop that quite yet. Cool, 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 cool. Do that. Uh, uh, I pull myself out here and I'm trapped. Blast it all. Okay, that's the. I can't drop that yet then. I gotta drop. Okay, right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. You don't drop that first. You drop this first, because if you move to that corner, you have to pull it back, you have to go around to push it. You go around, you get out, drop that block, then push it into position. Okay. So basically, I need to push this block down here. That's fine. Pull you back twice. Um, pull you back once. Pull that back over here. That over there. Push that over here. Push that down over there. No! Pull it, not push it, Nemo, you... Ah, I'm getting too... I get too eager with the, um... The, the shift. I, I go forward with shift, kind of half-pressed. And that just screws me over, because I'm a fool of a took. Um, much like Pippin. Right. Pull. Good. Pull. Push. Pull. Ow. Push. Pull. Push. There you go. And then push this. Bam. Good. Uh, grab all that. Cool. And that's the last token. Ow. Jesus, don't eat me. Don't eat me. Now I'm interested to see what happens if I fight a something with the explosive, with the, with the contact explosive boom boom. That's the big million dollar question. What happens if you fight a something with a contact explosive boom boom? Boom box, not boom boom. <laughs> Wait, what? Boom boom. Boom box. I'm also going to try to go for the um, invincibility, because might as well. Science, eh? Science, all about the science. Uh, find me to the code. Yes, yes, yes. Right, so now we have that. we got to go out and basically deal with it. So teleporting to there, picking that up and immediately heading back. I think because I think if you move far away from this from the start, doesn't the um, thing stop following you? I think if I walk, if I move all the way over here, come on, buddy, get closer. Come on, charge me. Okay, right. Fair enough. As expected, nothing happens. That's fine. That was expected. We weren't expecting, like, to automatically obliterate the enemy with this. Come on. Oh, you're generating these things, okay. Oh wow, you actually create, okay, those, all right, okay, right. Ow, Jesus. 
Okay, let's get out of here real quick because we're learning things about you. I don't think that's the best place to fight you. What would be the best place to fight you? What would be the best place to fight you? Are enemies allowed to spawn inside puzzle rooms? Important question. Because if I go into here, I don't remember what this puzzle room looks like. But if I go, I can, I, can, I can exist over here, right? If I go into, into this area, nothing can drop in from above. That's the big, that's the, my priority is nothing drops in from me from above. That's my biggest priority, is that we don't get rained on. There's also an oxygen thing over here. Oh god, go away. I don't like you. Or your family. Can you fight over here? You're just spawning things in, though. Yeah, you are just spawning things in. 25 for a shot. Thirty-five per shot. Okay, that's still that's, that's uh, some improvement. Okay, come on. Just stand here, basically. Whenever he goes past here, I'll just drop things down the hole. Which worked. It did some damage. Might just be better just to stay on the stick on this thing. Really? I go there for a second and you start dropping stuff like that on me? Come on. Oh yes, they said the, um, the devs said they were going to make it so that they dro it drops more stuff, I think. Oh god. Okay, hitting you is instant death, pretty much. So let's not have that happen again. Now, getting poisoned by you is also not fun. Okay, that cloud is poisonous to me. That was a test. That was that was on, that was a specific test to figure out that cloud is poisonous to me. It is. Get a bunch of health off you though. I think I should make it enough health off you on drops to possibly stay alive. I have to remain clear of that cloud though. Health oxygen. Yeah. I think it's dropping like maybe three oxygen uh, drops at a time rather than two. Now, oh, Jesus, that's me dead though. If poison kills me, that's me dead. Poison doesn't kill me, I'm okay. Okay, poison stopped. Good. Okay, so he's losing quite a bit of body parts there. Really? Sure. Those little one-off... I need to basically be careful as much as possible because those one-off shots are murder. Those little one-off... I mean, those, like... Those times it spits out, I can't avoid those. 
It's luck whether or not I avoid them, rather than me actively getting out of the way, I think. Ooh, some energy. At least if I stay over here, like I haven't got massive enemies there can't get to me. Nothing can drop from above. Still a massive hit, oh my god. Still like 60 damage on a hit. It's not great. It's not overly useful as a wounding tactic. I think I'd rather have the shots of this. Oh my god, really? Oh, I still managed to spit in my face. Go away, you. Oh, really? Something got me there? Sure. Why not? Okay, got the health at least. That's gonna annoy me. Ah, oh, just a little bit shy there. Just, okay, I don't need oxygen. That is health though, right? Nice oxygen. Anybody, where are you? I'm gonna go over here for a bit. That cloud go away. Oh, really? Come on. A little bit of damage. Energy. Okay, 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 come on. No health there either. Right beside me, really? Right beside me, and that was poison that killed me. It's gonna be another episode where I basically spend an hour dealing with the boss. Is that still the best place for me to deal with it? Probably. That's like that is a very nice. It means things can't jump up there. Things can't really mess around over there either. I'm other than those things that just turn up where he spits. I'm blessedly free of interference. I've got the auction over there as well, if I really need it. Nice big hit on you. Things need to drop down, they can't really get back up again. I can deal with minor damage, that's not a problem. That is annoying stuff. I can deal with it. Get the health though, get the health, get the health, get the health. Okay, 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 where are you, buddy? Ah, uh, I should just give up on the boombox, I think.
up. You can see my face there. You know what? Stick to the glove spitter. Stick to the glove spitter. No trick shots, just actual active damaging. No trick shotting, just hitting the damn thing with a gun. Got you, got you, still on super low health. Oxygen, oxygen, I don't need oxygen, I need health. Drop less oxygen, please. You dropped health down there, no, it's still oxygen. Stop dropping oxygen. I don't care, I don't need oxygen. Like, there's so many ways to mitigate oxygen in this game, but oxygen is not what I need. Like, the amount of times I've required oxygen, extra oxygen in this game, have been few and far between. And any time I've needed the extra oxygen from a drop has been more my, my misplay rather than an intentional thing, you know? Or it feels like more like my misplay. I'm gonna die to that? No, okay. A little bit of oxygen there. Still beep beeping like crazy? Not really? Dang it. That was just me being an idiot. Where did you come from? Oh god, why do you do this to me? Of course, the instance. I can't keep my health that low because those shots are boom. Flies past me, shoots me, and I can't avoid it. I'm not a maneuverable little alien. Shut up. Hey. Wow. Yeah, that's, again, I just started with the, um, with the with the mining gun there. Do I want something else? Okay, if I scrub the idea of using a boo box, what do you do? How much damage do you do to the damn thing? Number four, poison fire is flammable for some reason. Only well, seconds that, that might let me clear over there. 225 is the same damage per shot as this thing other thing does, so. It's gonna be better for close misses, maybe. Thanks for the health. I mean, those things take a long time to kill. Unfortunately, so it's not as if I can... But... Every little bit helps. If I just take tick damage, I can deal with it. Just tick damage is okay. Let me tell you, I'm getting. I'm, I'm looking forward to having my. Are you okay. I had a lot, of, a lot of, I lost a lot of health. I think I just touched you, didn't I? I just touched you and... Oh, for gods, really? Yeah, screw it. I just touched you and then like... Half my health goes.
I want everything to be like the first boss again. The first boss was so much easier. See, that's why I can't be down here, because if I be down here, I get, I get ambushed by so much stuff if I go down there. Yep, okay, and I'm also leaving, and those things respawn if I'm not there. Those things spawn in if I'm not there, and I can't be having that. I cannot be having that. It is verboten for me to be having that. I think like, all those numbers are just all the numbers from the different areas that you get. So basically, I, every pass I get this entire body with 25 damage, I think. Or if I get the entire body in flame. Like so. I still think that this actually does more damage. Ooh, uh, help. Yep, come on, really? Yep. That's, a, that's my entire health gone. Oh, my entire health. That's about, about half my health gone. Really? Come on. Health over there, thankfully. Oh, really? Come on! Screw off. Go away. That was going so well. And uh, the flamer is just so much easier to hit with. It's gonna be flamer. It's gonna be like mostly flamer work here with occasional bouts of glove spitter when I get a chance. I mean, it could well be, and I'm not. It could well be that I now I've ingrained one fighting style into my head, and I haven't really been able to see any other. It's quite possible that that's what's going on over here. Go away! Dropping the health. I like it when you drop the health. Makes my life a lot easier when you drop the health. Clearing you out because if I get close close to you, you can make poison over here. Go away! Like I can do minor tick damage with poison. That's fine. I can. I, can, I like. The, I don't like it, but I can deal with tick, poison tick damage. Contact damage is not something I want to deal with. <sighs> Tickle you there with a bit of flame. Tickling over there. Health over there annoyingly, but. Yeah. That's fine, I don't care about you. I don't think your poison can hit me over here. Health, good. No poison from you, good. So far, so good. Nope. Nope. 
this turn up. You need a little bit of... Actually, I can figure out sight range how far your poison cloud get to. Yeah, it's not so bad. Could be a lot worse. It dissipates there anyway, so... If I run an auction, there's an auction tank right over there. That's not what I need right now. Give me more health, buddy. Thank you for the health. Although, the tick damage is going to cancel out the health there. Got that, though. Good. Are you going in your angry spinning circle? Not quite. Although, I'm getting close to destroying some of the body parts from that. A little bit of tick damage. Not a lot of tick damage, a little bit of tick damage. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let's have some fun. Health up? I like the health up. Probably should have gone for Glob Spitter over there, but I'll take it. Not sure why I'm doing that specifically. Ooh, that was a body part. That was a body part. I heard a squish. Yep, the tail's gone. The tail is gone. You gassed me that way. Get some health up. Good. Oh, God. Can I hit you from there? I can, okay. Not that I particularly want to, but I can. You're not actually, you can't actually hurt me from there. Again, should have switched to the gobsuit for that. If I get... Oh, that was a really bad, that was a contact hit for me. Contact damage. Contact damage is excessive. Okay, so, okay, one health drop is. That's 25 squid health, and one health drop is 12. About half of that. Okay, we got more of them. We got more of them. So far, he hasn't been very interested in eating me. Although, go away. I don't care about oxygen, buddy. I really don't. Health is what I require. That is health. Give it to me. Yoink. 75, 80 health, maybe. Roundabout. Cool. Two bits of... The, there's the two bits behind the head left. The two bits behind the head left, and then we're good. Come on. I've got Lockjaw 50% as well, so... A little bit of burning there. Hunk of hunk of burning love. Burns, but it's acid. Oh, the chip damage is nightmarish. I'm gonna go off and wait for a little bit there. Good. It's about 70 health left. They get a 60 on contact though. Yep! It is a ridiculously low number of contact. And that's probably gonna be that's probably gonna be dead to contact to poison. Yes. Ah oh, Be more careful! Shut up. Oh my god. I was so close. So close.
Oh, come on, go away with that. Really? See, I can't- I have to be up here, because if I'm not up here, these guys spawn, and these guys kill me. Like, it's not even close, these guys just wreck me. They take too long to kill, I can't be up there. I can't be down here. Well, I can't be down there and then move up. That doesn't work. What's the alternative? Are there alternatives? I, I, I like this place. Like, this place is actually help, is helpful. Is the, the guy's really focused, like, spinning around the teleporter, so... Yeah, you go, I need to be over here. Oh my god, two of them? Oh, no, I can just leave now. I can just leave now. Oh god. Get good! Shut up. I'll shove this glob spitter right down your... Monitor, I guess. Processor. Oh, thanks for the contact hit off the beginning. That's nice. Well, let's try not going up there at all then. I can't. Look, 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 look at me being, being assaulted from all sides by everything under the sun. Too many bugs. I can't stay. There's too many bugs. Okay, wait. I'm gonna give it a shot, though. Okay, that's... bizarrely helpful. I think there's danger close now, I think. Really? Come on. You did not have to hit my face there. That was not required. Okay. Feels like two close quarters, but it's working. I take it back. This is working. I guess maybe there's only two, there's only two directions they can come at me by. Still walking through the bloody cloud, didn't I? Health. That's health. Dissipate. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, dissipate, cloud. Dissipate. Thank you.
Okay, we got some damage happening here. Good. Please do not eat me. Okay, 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 okay. Starting to take it all back now. Starting to take it all back. This has been more successful than anything else I've tried so far. Or, like, more easily successful. I've done well other places, but not without practice. I'm not full health now. You definitely spawn more than just that thing there, though. Gotcha. Oh, I think I got I think I got one of them. I think it's one more before he gets real angry. Yeah, one more before he gets real angry at me. I hit it. I want to make sure I get him in a good time, like when I can just unload in his face for a bit. That's not quite a good time, was I even looking ahead in mind? Okay. There you go. Ah. Thanks for slowing me down so much I couldn't get shots off. Well, that's the head now. All that's left is the head. It's like, luckily you don't seem to be interested in eating me. And I'm just gonna, I keep saying that over and over again, because I just want to bait out the uh, uncertainty. Definitely charging me, but not wanting to eat me so far. Ow. Really? Where did you come from? All my health is just gone immediately. I'm getting too eager to kill this guy. I'm getting too eager to. Oh no, really? Really? I just walked into that cloud? No. It's not good. health over there if I want it. Oh, come on, you went straight at me. No, 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 I can't even take a poison. Oh. <laughs> I'll catch you next time, folks, because frankly, right now, I need a break from this. <laughs> After that uh, disaster of having a lot of time not recorded, uh, I, need to, I, need to, I need to refresh my memory, but we know where the best place to fight him now, now. So I need to a better place to fight than just works really well there. And uh, I'll catch you all next time. Well, I'll start with, like, I'll start the next run with the successful killing of that monster, I think, is the way to, the way to do this, I think. Anyway, I'm going to do quite a bit of editing today. I will see you then. Bye-bye. Uh,